Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. And in today's video, we are going to discuss question 17 that came in Math Kangaroo 2024 exam for grades 7 and 8. And this question is really interesting. Let's see how we can solve this question easily. Okay, so Gerard cuts a large rectangle into four smaller rectangles. The perimeter of these smaller rectangles are 16, 18, 24 as shown in the diagram. So what is the perimeter of the fourth small rectangle? Basically this one. Okay, so what we need to do is very simple. Let's focus on these two rectangles with the perimeters 18 and 16. I've circled them in purple. Okay, now over here, see this is one side of the rectangle with the perimeter 16 and this opposite one can we imagine this is going to be the side length it's the same right if we see all these four sides are same so what i'm assuming is i'm just shifting it down okay so this length i'm shifting it down and i'm assuming this is going to be the other side of the rectangle with the perimeter 16 okay Secondly, this is one side of this rectangle and the other side can be this, right? This one can be this because they are same, correct? They are of same size. And then if you will see, for the rectangle with the perimeter 18, this is going to be one side and the other one can be this, same size, correct? And the same way, the bottom one, if you will see, here we are having, correct, one side and the other will be this one. So what we can see from here, the perimeter 18 and 16, these two rectangles, is going to be the same perimeter of the entire rectangle, correct? Because if we see, all the sides are covering the outer of the large rectangle, correct? Which we have cut down into smaller parts. So what we can say from here, the perimeter 16 and 18, if we are going to add them, it will be equivalent to the perimeter of large rectangle, correct? Clear? What is perimeter? The sum of the boundary, correct? So if I am going to add these two sides, it will be equivalent to the outer sides which we have marked, right? Because they are of same same size. We can see from the diagram, they have been aligned super nicely. Right? Now, this is done. And along with it, if you will see, if we focus on these two rectangles now, 24 plus this question mark, which we need to find out, correct? Again, if you will see, this is going to be one side. The other one I can imagine over here. And this is another and the other one I can imagine at the top. Correct. And for this tiny little question mark, one side is over here. Other one I can assume this one. One side is over here, other one I can assume this one, correct? Again, if we are going to add the perimeter of this question mark and 24, it will be equivalent to perimeter of large rectangle. You can see it is covering the entire rectangle. Right? So what we can see from here, 18 plus 16 will be equivalent to 24 plus question mark. And from here, we can easily find out what the question mark is going to be, isn't it? Easy. So what we can do here now is, let's add 18 and 16. So the answer which we are going to get, it is going to be 14 plus and 34 and 24 plus what is 34? Correct, 10. 
So option B is our correct answer. Okay. So this is really very simple. What we did is we first focused on perimeter of this rectangle and this rectangle which is 18 and 16. Okay. As perimeter is the sum of all four sides, what we can see is this side is equivalent to this and this side is equivalent to this. Correct. And the same thing we did for the other rectangle as well. And then we saw, okay, it is covering the entire length of the large rectangle. Correct. So the same way we did for the other two rectangles as well. And then we easily found out what is going to be our missing perimeter. Okay, because these two will be equal. 18 plus 16 will be equivalent to 24 plus question mark. The fourth small rectangle will have the perimeter of 10. I hope it is clear. And yes, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be meeting you soon in another video. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.